today. I hope you have a good mood and for this event will be run smoothly. I will introduce our speaker today. First, we have Professor Alexander Petrenko from the Nepal Crepals National University. And for this session today, and I hope this event will be enjoyable and worthy of knowledge. Yeah, maybe for Professor Alexander, yeah. Uh huh. May may I start? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, good morning for everybody. I am very glad to meet you again. Uh, today maybe it was it will be last our meeting, and I'd like some summarize, summarize uh, about our meeting and discussion about our uh, problems of uh, the modern uh, theory of the automatic control application. So I'd like to uh, say some words about uh, 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 situation in our city is very bad. And uh, it's continue uh, the war between Ukraine and Russia is continue. And just now about 5.5 million people leave Ukraine to abroad. All, uh, as for me, I am also is absent in my city just now. And uh, only distance, uh, I can distance communicate with you. So here is some difficult for our presentation and communication. But I hope uh, this uh, time I uh, send to your address my materials and uh, everybody can uh, uh, look these materials and prepare some maybe some questions and we will discuss about that. So, what uh, my uh, task for uh, today presentation? I'd like to underline that uh, the modern theory of the automatic control is not uh, absolutely theoretical discipline. It is very, very applicated uh, discipline. And just now I'd like to explain you uh, about application our um, theoretical knowledge for some uh, real tasks and problems. And the, here I'd like to um, say that uh, we can uh, to apply uh, our uh, theoretical knowledge for aircraft, for ballistic missiles, launchers, spacecraft, satellites, unmanned flight vehicles, robotics, and many, many other areas. And uh, uh, it's more uh, closed for me. This is space, spacecraft and the satellite application. As in this area, for example, some task uh, for example, station keeping. This is compensation for, for uh, perturbances to maintain the desired of orbital position. Attitude management, generation of momentum or to offload the reaction wheels used for attitude control. Orbital maneuver, maneuvering orbit transfer, racing from the launch orbit to the operational orbit, relocation satellites, and the dispo disposal at end of life of a spacecraft. And uh, for example, you can see here uh, for some structures of um, uh, satellites, you can see application here, some uh, thrusters, which give us uh, possibility to influence to our uh, spacecraft and reach our tasks, which I uh, listed. So, 
and uh, uh, as for spacecraft and satellite application we can say about spacecraft's automatic control system structure here is sensors on board digital devices and uh, executive device as for uh, executive devices here uh, most of all uh, reaction wheels and propulsion systems are uh, applicated here you can see uh, uh, what uh, structure of the executive devices uh, of the automatic control system are located on the spacecraft this is reaction wheels application and here is propulsion system application so and here you can see some uh, real uh, construction of reaction wheels and here is presented some uh, propulsion system which uh, uh, is used uh, cold gas here is very simple uh, propulsion system where uh, the sum inert gas especially for example uh, nitrogen or maybe some the same with uh, big pressure in located in the uh, tank and the through some nozzles it put to outside so and uh, in uh, this uh, area of the executing devices of automatic control system of spacecraft, very interesting position uh, is uh, for electric propulsion. This is very, uh, very interesting area uh, because electric propulsion is some class of space propulsion technologies what uh, that makes use uh, of electrical power to accelerate a propellant by means of electrical thermal electrostatic or electromagnetic processing uh, typically electrical propulsion systems consist of one or more electrical thrusters connected to their power processing unit and uh, to a propellant storage and uh, feeding system which includes uh, includes tank or tanks pressure regulators flow control units valves etc and uh, to point in uh, some mechanism and uh, the general uh, presentation of electrical propulsion system architecture is presented here you can see here is uh, uh, you can see here a tank for um, a working substance fluid control system power processing unit and uh, here is presented some direct uh, direct electrical propulsion thruster so uh, in electrical propulsion thrusters, we can divide it for resistor jet, arc jet, ion thruster, and the whole effect thruster. And the uh, resistor jet. Uh, for increasing the speed of the exp expiration of working substance is uh, achieved by increasing the temperature by heating with some uh, electric heater the maximum value of specific impulse is uh, limited by the maximum temperature of the heater and is about 300 seconds and the thruster level uh, such thruster is uh, is presented here from uh, 10 millinewton to 1 newton and uh, the general uh, structure of resistor jet is presented here this is the typical form as uh, for example liquid propulsion thruster 
but here inside uh, inside uh, of this thruster the um, heater is located and here is putting some electrical power uh, for uh, increasing the temperature inside this thruster arc jet the working substance uh, receives additional uh, heat in due the thermal energy, which is real, uh, realized in the gas flow due the electric arc. Dependence of the working substance, the specific impulse um, can be reached uh, to 500-550 seconds for hydrazine, and with uh, a power consumption of um, uh, 0 0.5 to 2.0 kilowatts, the trust, uh, trust change in the range uh, 100 300 millinewton. And the uh, general arc jet uh, of this thruster is presented here. And here you can see cathode and uh, anode between these electrodes uh, is applied some uh, outside power supply and here is realized some uh, discharge between uh, anode and cathode. The temperature of the uh, working substance in the arc jet thrusters is higher than uh, the typical of uh, the uh, here to, uh, trust uh, very wide of range um, uh, thrusters uh, it's uh, iron thrusters the iron thruster consists of discharge chamber iron optical system and the cathode compensator the discharge chamber contain uh, an anode and hollow cathode which are connected to a discharge power supply. And process of ionization of working substance is carried out as a result of the bombardment of neutral atoms of the working substance by electrons that are emitted by an external hollow cathode. Uh, uh, in ion thruster, uh, a magnetic field is formed in the discharge chamber to magnet, uh, magnetize the primary electrons that are emitted by the hollow cathode and uh, that uh, should not immediately reach uh, the anode. The magnetic lines at, of force should be directed parallel to location of the anode and the uh, form and uh, magnetic field in the discharge chamber and permanent magnet or electromagnet are used. Uh, the formation of the iron beam and the acceleration of iron uh, are carried out uh, in the iron optical system, which consists of uh, sheldium, accelerating and uh, slowing down electrodes as shown as on the next slide. The cathode compensator is located outside the iron optical system. It's designed to uh, neutralize the iron beam. And the, the typical structure of iron thruster is presented here. So this is cylindrical uh, discharge chamber. Here is located a uh, hollow cathode. And uh, the main uh, mass of working substance is put in here. Uh, in this case, xenon, uh, gas, neutral gas xenon is uh, as uh, working substance I used. And uh, between cathode and the uh, reinform not here is realized some discharge uh, discharge process and the uh, working substance are ionized here inside of the acceleration channel and uh, here is 
presented ion optical system, ion optical system, which is accelerated uh, positive ions which uh, form it inside the Duchamp chamber. And outside of the thruster is uh, located additional hollow cathode, which uh, generates some flow of electrons for uh, compensated of uh, uh, volume discharge of the spacecraft. So uh, I'd like I'd like uh, to return to my uh, start of uh, today's presentation. And I'd like to underline that if uh, we need to uh, applicate some aspects of uh, automatic, modern automatic control system for different kinds of uh, objects, we need to, to deep understand which uh, physical processes uh, we have in our subject of control uh, for creation some corresponding mathematical model and uh, applic and uh, in the next time we need uh, to use this mathematical model for creation automatic control system. So, so that is why I so detail stop, stop in uh, some aspects of uh, uh, such a technology. So in this uh, picture, you can see uh, some example of uh, ion thruster, so called PIT 200 which uh, created in uh, our university. And uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, variant of a laboratory model of uh, uh, plasma, uh, so-called plasma ion thruster. And uh, this uh, uh, thruster was presented to uh, the sun space company which uh, are planning, uh, planning to use such uh, device on satellite. Oh, excuse me. Uh, here you can see only uh, ion, uh, ion, optical ion uh, acceleration uh, unit. And you can see here is screen grid which consists of two many, many uh, wheels, wheels, which uh, uh, is accelerated uh, ion. So next, next uh, uh, area of the electrical propulsion thruster, this is whole effect thruster. The whole thruster consists of uh, a dielectric acceleration channel and the magnetic uh, system that generates a radial magnet field. An anode is located in the beginning of the accelerating channel, and uh, cathode is located behind the cutoff of the acceleration channel. Plasma in the whole effect thruster is generated using the electric discharge in crossed electric and magnet field using the uh, whole current. The longitudinal uh, electric field, which is oriented along the normal to the magnetic field, causes uh, an electrostatic acceleration of ion, which fly uh, out of the thruster at high speed created creating uh, some thrust. Whole thruster have a specific impulse of uh, 1.5 uh, thousand to uh, 2 thousand seconds when the xenon is used as the working uh, substance. <clears throat> the uh, typical structure of whole effect thruster is presented here. You can see here uh, cylindrical uh, acceleration channel, 
This is created from some uh, ceramic. Here is located anode, and through anode, uh, working gas is feeding. And outside of this thruster is located hollow cathode. And between this cathode and the anode, here is uh, initiated some uh, electrical discharge. And the, and the inside of the acceleration channel, uh, ions of xenon are accelerate, accelerated by longitudinal uh, electrical field. And here is outside of the thruster is flow of positive uh, ion. But the hollow outside hollow cathode generate uh, uh, electrons not only for keeping discharge inside the uh, acceleration channel, but also uh, some flow of electrons put to a flow of iron. And here is iron uh, flow is neutralized. And after that is flow neutral atoms of xenon. So this is uh, created in such uh, means, uh, such created level of the thrust. And here is presented uh, magnet field. Uh, here is the uh, uh, radial magnet field, which uh, give us possibility to create some difference electrical uh, voltage inside the uh, acceleration channel which give us possibility to create some electric uh, field along uh, acceleration channel. So here you can see uh, some example of structure, whole effect thruster, so called ST25. This uh, thruster was uh, uh, designed, uh, manufactured, and tested in the uh, laboratory when uh, I work in as a scientific counsel, consultant. Uh, this is laboratory is called a Space Electrical Thruster Systems. Its uh, laboratory is located in our city. And we designed different kind of uh, whole thruster. So, uh, and uh, uh, here you can see uh, uh, the, here is uh, acceleration channel which is created from some ceramic. Here you can see some electromagnets uh, which create radial magnet field, and here is. Uh, uh, presented hollow cathode, which is located outside from the acceleration channel. So between this uh, hollow cathode and anode, which is located inside here in acceleration channel, created some discharge. So <clears throat> here is presented some table of uh, main parameters of uh, uh, thrusters for satellites. And you can see uh, different kind of thruster, cold gas, monopropellant, liquid pro propulsion, resistor jet, arc jet, ion thruster, and whole effect thruster. And you can see that level of specific impulse of this thruster is very, very different. And uh, maybe it's uh, not good known for a specialist of your university, but specific impulse, this is, um, this is parameters which determine of a speed of uh, a speed of uh, flow outside of thruster. And as the level of this speed is bigger, is more uh, 
high efficient of the tractor. So from this uh, th this uh, table, you can see that cold gas has very uh, small level of specific impulse, and the iron thruster, for example, uh, has very very high specific impulse. But here you, we can um, get some problems with the complex of structure of, for example, iron thruster. That is why uh, whole thrusters just now is very very often uh, used in uh, space application and here you can see that input power uh, for a whole thruster is typically from uh, half of uh, one kilowatts to four five kilowatts it depends from the electrical power which we can obtain on board satellite for uh, trust uh, application. And you can see here a different kind of working substance uh, can be used for uh, space application for um, in, uh, in uh, on board satellites of spacecraft. So, but uh, uh, thruster this is only uh, only as uh, executive of device uh, uh, device of the elect uh, of the automatic control system but for uh, its operating it need first of all some uh, power processing units which consist from different kind of power supplies and here is show I show automatic control system which uh, excuse me uh, which create some commands for uh, and, uh, some control commands and uh, uh, reference and control some regimes of uh, uh, electrical propulsion system. So, the automatic control system of the propulsion uh, of the propulsion system must ensure the control of the uh, electric propulsion thruster under the action of uncontrolled random disturbances of this on systems. Obtaining uh, and processing of data or, uh, of the propulsion system subsystem operating. So uh, last time, last time uh, uh, we discussed about mathematical model uh, subject of control in such form, and uh, for example, for some kind of uh, whole thruster, uh, we obtained the mathematical model in the form matrix A, B, E, C in such form. And during uh, experimental investigation with our thruster, we can obtain uh, some real parameters of uh, uh, mathematical model uh, for, uh, for example, whole thruster. This is some uh, coefficients K1, K2, and some uh, time constants K1, K2, K3, and some uh, parameter uh, of matrix of, uh, of the measurement C1 and C1. So uh, if we, we will have uh, uh, investigate some another kind of uh, propulsion system, for example, iron thruster or maybe iron jet or uh, uh, resistor jet. We, uh, during uh, our experimental investigation, we can obtain some uh, digital values uh, such parameters. Also, 
for example, uh, we can investigate uh, some uh, influence, some random disturbances on the output variables of our cluster. And for example, here is presented some typical results of influence some casual uh, disturbances which uh, influence to the level of the trust. Here is presented some, some uh, uh, parameters, uh, some million pair, for example, ion, uh, ion carbon. So, and uh, uh, last time we say about different kind of uh, casual disturbances can be presented as the summary of the some casual steps, linear uh, fragments and uh, uh, square fragments. So, for example, uh, in this case, the model of random disturbances, we can present it in such form. So, based on the analysis of experimental investigation, random disturbances acting on the subsystem of the propulsion system are proposed to be considered in such form. Here, we can uh, previously form of uh, casual disturbances, we can uh, consider uh, in such form. This is some casual steps, this is linear fragment and this is square fragment. So, and corresponding to the uh, mathematical model of, of the random disturbances can be presented in such form, in such form. And after that, we can obtain uh, finally model of the random disturbances of, uh, in the matrix form can be present, presented as, uh, in such form. We uh, last time for in the last presentation, we discussed about this mathematical model. This mathematical model can be used in uh, our algorithms of the creation of some automatic control system. And uh, so after that, we can uh, create some automatic control uh, system structure in such form. So uh, here is uh, our uh, object of control with matrix ABC. This is mathematical model of our subject of control. Here is mathematical model of uh, casual disturbances. And here you can see matrix K1 and matrix K2, which uh, uh, give us possibility to obtain closed system. And uh, after that, we obtain parameter of our um, object of control with feedback uh, signals. Uh, give us uh, dynamics and the uh, parameters of accuracy of our uh, system, which we need, which we need. And uh, how to obtain matrix K1 and K2? We, uh, last time we say about uh, decision of task, uh, the model control, and uh, for example, uh, uh, obtaining of optimal control system. And uh, uh, this is matrix K1. And matrix K2, we last time we uh, discussed about how to obtain matrix K2 for maximum compensate influence uh, of the uh, casual disturbances on object of control. So, and uh, uh, also last time uh, for our uh, previously presentation, 
we discussed that if we have uh, object of control uh, in form of matrix A, B, C, D, F, uh, H, uh, if we have some uh, uh, real uh, values of elements such matrix, we can create uh, so-called advanced observer, which uh, consists from mathematical model of object control and mathematical model of casual disturbances, which is added some matrix L1 and L2, which uh, give us possibility that uh, parameters of uh, our advanced observer uh, move to real parameters of uh, uh, object of control. So, and uh, for in my previous presentation, we more detail uh, discussed about how to obtain parameter matrix L1 and matrix L2. So, uh, but uh, somebody, uh, a special specialist in uh, computers and in uh, uh, digital uh, digital automatic control system can ask me how we can use such results of uh, investigation object of control and also some algorithms of uh, and approaches for obtaining uh, structure and parameters uh, elements of the automatic control system how it's possible to realize in some digital system. So here we can say uh, when building a digital control system, it's ne necessary to impl implement the algorithm for uh, the operating of the observer device in the form of some discrete system in which the signals are considered at uh, discrete times and uh, the signal themselves are, are also presented in a digital form uh, and uh, so uh, here uh, uh, just now here is some just I, so here is some, I change my slide. So for transform our continuous model for some discrete form, different kind of discrete integration operators can be used for in discrete mathematics model in some following form, especially, for example, uh, when integrating by the methods of uh, rectangles, we can uh, use very uh, easy form to transform operator uh, of um, integration operator. So, uh, when we uh, using the some trapezo trapezoid methods here the uh, uh, operator of integrated in such form and uh, uh, we can use also uh, simpson simpson uh, formula for uh, integrator operator and uh, here is uh, uh, tau is the time simple interval so and the discrete model of the control object if we apply some uh, z transformer we can obtain in such form and here is a mathematical model can be realized in digital form here is a real 
algorithm which can be uh, applied in some micro, micro processor technology. So also here uh, discrete model of the random disturbances also can be uh, presented in such form. So discrete model of feedback unit also can be presented in such form. And uh, uh, the most uh, complex, uh, the, uh, the most complex here is a discrete model of the uh, advanced observer, uh, advanced observer. You can see here is uh, some part of this model is connected with mathematical model of object of control. Uh, you can see here uh, elements matrix A, B, C, and also elements matrix L1 and L2. So, and here is the part of the uh, advanced observer, which is connected with the uh, modeling of the random disturbances. Here also, uh, you can see elements of uh, matrix uh, L2, L2, which uh, we uh, can obtain on our previously uh, our previously emitting. So uh, this, uh, uh, these algorithms uh, can be realized directly in some, uh, in some digital form using different kind of microprocessing technology. So if the specialist of uh, microprocessor, it needs to obtain some algorithm, ad algorithm uh, which they must to realize in such form, the designer of the automatic control system can be create this in such form, uh, some equations in digital form. And uh, uh, our, electronics and uh, specialist in uh, microprocessor technologies uh, must realize this in such form. So, and uh, that, that is why, that is why uh, uh, as I understand that if we uh, understand how uh, our object of control is operating, we can obtain corresponding mathematical model in the form of the matrix A, B, C, D, F, H, uh, object of control, uh, the casual disturbances. And after that, we can obtain correspondent uh, digital mathematical model, for example, for uh, advanced observer, uh, digital model of uh, unit uh, back uh, signals, and this is uh, in the res in the result we obtain digital system of automatic control our object. So, and uh, here uh, uh, I uh, I'd like present some uh, results of the work in our um, automatic control system for uh, real application. And here you can see th this, uh, the same uh, pictures I show you, you for in our previously um, presentation. And you can see, for example, uh, when uh, the uh, parameters of uh, object of control is uh, not uh, uh, zero condition of system is not zero, for example, uh, this level. After working closed system, this system is 
uh, moving to zero. And as, uh, as the um, roots of our closed system different uh, located from the uh, imaging uh, axis, we uh, obtain different speed of this moving. And we can uh, obtain uh, dynamic characteristic of closed system, which we need. And uh, last time we say about different kind of uh, form of location, uh, roots of closed system on, on the um, uh, plane, uh, uh, imaginary plane. And here is the binomial, uh, binomial, binomial uh, polynomials of closed system. This is Butterworth, uh, Butterworth form of uh, uh, characteristic poly polynomial of the closed system. And here is uh, Bessel Thompson characteristic polynomial uh, closed system. Uh, you can see we have very power instruments for obtaining uh, dynamic characteristics of closed system. So, and also, and also here is presented how uh, uh, observer, uh, advanced observer can uh, estimate parameters of a real system. For example, here is a line of the uh, moving real parameter of real system. And here is uh, moving the parameters of observer with different, uh, uh, different distance uh, uh, roots of uh, observer from imaging uh, axis. So here is uh, binomial form uh, located uh, roots of observer. Here is this uh, Butterworth. And here is Bessel Thompson located uh, roots of closed system, uh, 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 advanced observer as closed system. And also here you can see again, if uh, the character of uh, casual disturbances is presented in some modeling form as the sum linear, uh, linear uh, fragment steps, step, and also linear. And you can see as uh, observer try to uh, estimate character of uh, uh, influence of uh, uh, casual disturbances on our subject of control is influence. So here is presented also, here is uh, uh, binomial, uh, binomial form of uh, characteristic polynomial uh, uh, advanced observer. Here is a Butterworth characteristic polynomial uh, of polynomials of uh, the uh, advanced observer. And here is Bessel Thompson, Bessel Thompson uh, characteristic polynomial of uh, the advanced observer. Uh, observer unit. So, and uh, here, uh, here is uh, presented uh, results of modeling of closed system with observer. When we uh, estimated parameters, uh, variables of the uh, object of control and uh, estimated uh, Casual disturbances we used in law of the control. You can see that we can sum uh, fragments where uh, the, we have some uh, error of control, but in time this error is moving to zero. 
So we can uh, change parameters of automatic control system and uh, obtain such parameters, uh, such parameters of uh, uh, the automatic control system, which the level of the error will be very, very small, very, very small. So, and for example, here is, uh, for example, uh, when we use uh, uh, Bessel Thompson uh, located uh, characteristics polynomial of the closed system and the uh, observer, advanced observer, we can obtain very, very small error in our output output variables of our control system. So after that, I'd like to uh, uh, create some conclusion. For the, for the modern automatic control theory application, it needs, first of all, a deep knowledge of the subject area. Next. Obtaining the uh, object control mathematical model by uh, structural structure and the parametric, parametric uh, identification. Next step, ability to solve, solve the problems of uh, model control and uh, uh, analytical design of the optimal controller. Here can be some um, model control and also analytical design uh, on optimal controller and compare obtaining results and uh, choice some um, recommendation about choice of parameters uh, matrix of the feedback uh, feedback signal so next step design of the asymptotic and advanced observer. Next step, investigation of closed designed system by means of digital modeling. And the choice of the observer dynamic parameters by means of digital modeling. And they also uh, maybe it needs uh, to add for this conclusion, it needs uh, underline that all obtaining results can be realized in some digital form by means uh, microprocessor uh, technology. So uh, this is uh, finish my summary uh, presentation. Uh, here you can see uh, some uh, reference. Uh, this is well known. Uh, this is well known uh, books and materials which can be used for uh, invest, uh, some um, investigate different kind of uh, real systems, real systems, and each uh, this material give us some instrument for. Uh, investigate subject of control, create uh, automatic control system. And uh, these uh, materials give us uh, some recommends how uh, you can create some choice to, for example, uh, location, the roots of uh, closed uh, system, uh, characteristic polynomial on the plane, which recommendation about some choice of uh, matrix of weight coefficients and so and so and so. So I, I hope, uh, I hope as uh, you can uh, uh, investigate my, these materials uh, in some time. If you have some um, questions, you can ask me. 
it more easy to present it it in some chat that it more easy for me i look uh, in some right form your uh, questions and i try to explain you and the answer to your question thank you very much for your attention okay thank you for mr alexander present pretends to uh sorry uh miss novita have a problem uh, and the electricity is done so his battery is run out so so he cannot be a moderator so uh, i change uh i change uh, to become a moderator uh, you can you okay. hear my my voice yeah 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 okay um, i'm sorry there's uh problem in indonesia problem in uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay uh thank you for the very good presentation i guess uh it's really clear about uh what what the use of this technology uh, so we have uh, some question uh you can see on the chat uh i want to ask which trust method you think most efficient for spacecraft from Mr. Jenny. Which thruster method you think more most efficient for a spacecraft? Uh, uh, as for uh, as for my opinion, yeah. uh, some kind of uh, electrical uh, propulsion is used. So uh, <coughs> which uh, which advanced of this approach. Uh, it needs to explain uh, which disadvantage the typical of uh, propulsion system. Oh. The main disadvantage of typical uh, propulsion system as for the, uh, liquid propulsion, solid propulsion, cold gas propulsion, it uh, this disadvantage is connected with uh, needs to accumulate mass and energy in the sum fuel and we need take this uh, fuel from the surface of the earth to space Mm -hmm. And the advantage of electrical propulsion is that uh, we need only take from the uh, level uh, from the surface of the earth only mass, but mm -hmm. energy we can obtain directly in space using solar solar energy. So uh, if we compare, if we compare which uh, which mass of uh, electrical propulsion system and which mass of, for example, solid propulsion system. Sometimes it's difficult to compare it because uh, electrical propulsion system, it needs power pro processing unit. This is not very uh, simple system and uh, it needs some uh, mass and dimensions, but it can uh, operate very, very long time during uh, many years. And uh, we need only take uh, some mass of uh, working substance. Well, just now, this uh, xenon is more uh, often used. Uh, this is not very cheap material it's very expensive but just now uh, for example in my lab we just now we, we working with uh, argon and krypton in gases uh, as uh, working substance for this so uh, it give us possibility to operate a long time especially for example for geostationary, uh, geostationary satellites, telecommunication satellites, 
which are very expensive and it needs uh, two long time operation. And uh, for example, for task keeping point of uh, point position on geostationary orbit, uh, for example, north, north, south, and east, west is uh, it's enough uh, to use such electrical propulsion so but uh, not but maybe also we need to um, understand uh, which kind of electrical propulsion can be used more easy because for example ion thrusters are designed in the investigation many, many years. But, uh, for example, NASA uh, used uh, ion thruster only in some real project, especially for deep space. Uh, GPL, uh, Jet Propulsion Laboratory and NASA, uh, Applicate ion thruster for mission deep space, and the xenon ion thruster was used for uh, uh, created uh, 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 thrust for uh, uh, spacecraft for deep mission. But if we need more uh, real, more practical application, it needs as for my opinion, to use some kind of whole thrusters. They uh, also have some modification. Here is some so-called TL thruster, uh, thruster with inner layer, but this is some modification of whole thrusters. And the, the structure them, construction, is not very uh, complex. And uh, as for my uh, opinion, uh, most of uh, uh, companies which are created some uh, some uh, uh, system, space system, for example, for uh, uh, remote sensing, some, uh, for example, navigation. No, especially for the uh, uh, satellite communication satellites on geostationary orbit. So, but uh, it's a uh, problem of uh, electrical propulsion uh, application is very closely connected with problem of uh, level of the electrical power on board. Because uh, uh, Electrical power on board is very often uh, is limited, and most most of all, this electrical power is uh, used for uh, our payload. This is some optical system for uh, transponder. For, for example, for communication uh, satellites, but sometimes it needs to put most of electrical power for propulsion application. Realize such uh, problem of uh, uh, propulsion system, and after that, propulsion system is. Uh, in standby regime and uh, wait for some uh, session of the operating. So I, uh, I think this is a very good technology for continue the lifetime of satellites. And uh, here is also some problems, for example, if we uh, have some low uh, orbit satellites, for example, 200 kilometers, 250 kilometers, here uh, we have some aer aerodynamics uh, drag uh, for these satellites. 
And if we, we will not use such some additional propulsion system, the lifetime of such satellites will be some weeks. But if we will use such additional propulsion system, we can continue lifetime such satellites for uh, some months or some years. So this is for, is for my opinion. Okay, uh, thank you, very complete. I guess uh, it's all have a benefit and weakness uh, for the, all of the technology. Uh, there's another question from Mr. Wiki Atmoko. Uh, you can see on the chat. Uh, is this product can work if have a vibration? Uh, I guess maybe uh, this is about uh, the proportion. Is it work if there is a vibration? So, so it's some noise and I, I, uh, I need more detail understand yeah. your question. Okay, uh, I also maybe the question is not very clear. Uh, you can see on the chat. Uh, can work if have a vibration. So I guess uh, maybe uh, we don't know what is the, the vibration of this, of the, uh, what, what is, is mean in the vibration. Uh, okay, I guess uh, skip for another question. Uh, now we are talking about technology. We have a question from Mr. Iman from YouTube. Uh, we want to know what is your technology, uh, control technology used in your uh, satellite technology or uh, rocket technology. Is it using uh, just like standard uh, standard? Americas and their West, just like using ARM processor or X64, or maybe using the Russian technology, just like MCST or something. Um, okay, this is the end of question. So, uh, I, I, uh, uh, I guess. Yes. Uh, 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 such such technology such technology uh, is used uh, not only for example in uh, electrical propulsion uh, system which I presented but uh, this is more uh, close for my research interest and uh, uh, I uh, work in this area a long time but mm -hmm. uh, the modern approaches uh, for uh, uh, modern automatic control system application is very often uh, used in ballistic missiles mm -hmm. especially for example for uh, flight, some some ballistic, uh, not ballistic, some missiles, uh, wind wind missiles, which is uh, uh, flight uh, by the some territory on the very uh, low uh, altitude, and it need uh, change his trajectory as the change of the structure of uh, Earth's surface. So here is, uh, uh, I'd like proposed, uh, for example, if anybody interested more detailed, uh, create some uh, observers, uh, advanced observers, uh, as for I remember, uh, this is some uh, American specialist, uh, C. D. Johnson. C. D. Johnson. He has he has some research in area of uh, 
create some advanced advanced uh, observers for uh, winds winds rockets. So uh, I I think uh, in different kind of uh, uh, dynamic systems such approach can be uh, can be realized, uh, but it needs very very detailed investigation the process of uh, structure and parameter uh, paramet parametric uh, identification we need uh, very good understand and know uh, how uh, how parameters of object control change during the process of operation because uh, especially for example if this is some uh, ballistic missiles maybe uh, not ballistic missiles these parameters is very uh, very uh, change during its operation especially mass uh, velocity of uh, uh, moving and uh, different kind of disturbances and so so and so so uh, this is very uh, wide range of investigation uh, about creation some mathematical model of the object of control when we have this mathematical model we can use it for creation some correspondent automatic control system and here is it needs it very carefully uh, investigate which requirements uh, formulated for uh, for example closed system and how we can realize these uh, requirements so um, this is uh, very complex problem very complex problem but uh, in um, this my presentation i'd like only focus your attention about some approaches which we can use for create some modern automatic control system and uh, if uh, for example somebody have some real problems for uh, create um, some uh, closed automatic control system it needs formulate some um, plan of the investigation uh, object of control some procedure procedures of uh, um, create some para, uh, some uh, automatic uh, control system creation and obtain its parameters uh, after that it needs some uh, modeling modeling uh, mathematical modeling uh, this uh, closed system and after that give formulate some uh, requirements for uh, specialists in uh, digital systems for realize correspondent uh, automatic control system. So this is a complex uh, problem and uh, uh, I'd like to present here that in some uh, real uh, subject, for example, electrical propulsion system uh, in uh, our university and in uh, my lab where uh, just now I, I'm working, we can uh, we can realize uh, we realize that this uh, approaches and uh, obtain good results and uh, that is why i uh, agree to present these uh, materials and uh, um, invite uh, your <laughs> attention for uh, this subject uh, of uh, investigation. So. Uh, okay, uh, I guess uh, it's clear to us. Uh, I guess uh, I get the point. The, the point is 
it's about the, the technology you you talking about the the, the equation the concept of using uh, automate uh, automation control not not only just use in the trust system okay is it correct okay uh, Okay, maybe uh, I have uh, another question. This is for me. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask, is it uh, the, just like a ballistic, uh, ballistic missile that using composite proper lamp uh, can be controlled by trust, by a truster? Um, mm -hmm. uh, and what is the, the method if, if it, can but is the method used for controlling uh, just like a small rocket uh, or composite is that using composite material not liquid material mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, okay. what is the, the control how to change the the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the trajectory of a ballistic missile okay. using composite okay okay just just i i'd like i'd like uh, explain my uh, opinion about this so, uh, in our in our city, in our city, our universe, uh, our faculty uh, of our university was organized in 1951, when in our city was building uh, uh, plant for creation, uh, for, for manufacturing yeah. ballistic missiles. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, this uh, big ballistic missiles uh, yeah. in some time biggest in the world. And uh, uh, in these ballistic missiles was uh, used liquid propulsion thrusters. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the level of the uh, level of the trust, uh, any anybody uh, try to obtain the maximum level of the trust, not not control this uh, level maximum. Mm. It was the main goal, maximum level of the trust. Mm. Uh, but uh, during some um, time. Uh, uh, in our plant, it was built some uh, solid propulsion thruster and, uh, uh, and solid uh, ballistic missile. And problem of uh, uh, for the solid propulsion, this is very uh, big problems because uh, parameters of uh, fuel very very strong depends from some um, uh, condition of operation. And during the time parameters of uh, the solid fuel is some change and level of the trust change in very uh, wide range. So, uh, in our university in, uh, and also in some uh, scientific organization in our city, in our country, uh, it was some spent uh, investigation about approaches for uh, control uh, solid propulsion thrusters. Uh, here, is some, here is some approaches. Uh, uh, the level of the trust uh, for, for the solid propulsion thruster is dependent from the uh, form form uh, inside uh, solid propulsion uh, 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 some form of this uh, uh, fuel fuel here is uh, some uh, proposed some mechanisms, uh, some additional elements which can change form 
surface of firing inside the, the solid propulsion. And uh, this mechanism can, can change uh, some condition of firing inside the solid propulsion, and it can be reach to some um, control process of uh, firing and uh, correspondent creation the level of the trust. Uh, uh, here is here is two approaches for for example uh, for example uh, this uh, liquid propulsion thrusters uh, can be very easy to control because uh, it you can uh, use some uh, valves which can uh, change level of the mass flow rate to the thruster. Uh, for example, uh, some components of fuel, but in solid propulsion, this is uh, sometime is more easy to use more advanced uh, automatic control system all the ballistic missile, uh, for example, some uh, aerodynamic uh, elements and uh, change uh, position of uh, center of mass of the ballistic missile because uh, directly control of the solid uh, propulsion is very, very difficult. As for, uh, as for small uh, thrusters, if, uh, for small thrusters, here is the same problem. In, uh, if the uh, thruster is based on liquid propulsion, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, more easy to change uh, level of the thrust, but uh, as for solid propulsion, this is some summary impulse of the thrust, and it needs stop process of firing, but this is very, very difficult. And here is some... Um, uh, some proposals, for example, um, many many steps, many steps solid propulsion thrusters. This is uh, some variants. For example, uh, solid propulsion can be firing some fixed time, and after that, it stop, and next time it needs additional uh, command for uh, firing and next step firing and stop and next, next it and next. Here is different kind of uh, approaches for control, uh, but uh, this is, uh, I, I uh, know about these approaches only theoretically because uh, most of the, my, uh, my, uh, activity, uh, research activity, I spent with uh, electrical propulsion. Uh, I worked in, uh, many years ago for uh, Fakel Enterprise in uh, uh, Russia, uh, but after 1991, our contacts was broken and our uh, I continue my uh, activity in this area and in, uh, in Ukraine and also uh, working in, uh, in NASA Lewis Center in Cleveland. Uh, I worked uh, for some university to South Korea and uh, in China and also, also, also. But uh, if uh, somebody interested 
some electrical propulsion activity, I am I will be glad to communicate with some uh, specialist in your university. And uh, if, uh, for example, somebody is working in some uh, PhD program in uh, uh, propulsion for satellites, for spacecraft, mm -hmm. I, I'd like uh, to communicate with them and uh, I can give some consulting in this area and uh, maybe it will be interesting for your specialist. Okay. Okay, uh, that's all very clear. Uh, there's uh, somebody raised hand. Uh, Pak Marianto raised hand. Mr. Marianto, okay. Uh, uh, excuse me, if yeah. it's possible, write down, please, your questions. It's more easy uh, because uh, uh, I very difficult to hear uh, uh, questions. Uh, and sometimes it needs uh, more detail to understand your question. Write down, please, in chat, please. Okay. Okay. Uh... Uh, I think <laughs> no, this. the one who raised hand is living. Maybe it's accidentally raised Okay. Uh, is there anyone who want to uh, ask a question? I guess uh, I leave it to Miss Novita again. Miss Novita, can you hear me? Uh, I guess the electricity is on. Yeah, is it okay? The, the electricity? Yeah, I think we don't have no more question again. So thank you for Professor Alexander Petrenko for coming to the session today and teaching in our class. I hope this event will be enjoyable and worthy of knowledge. Yeah, thank you for sharing your presentation and your knowledge. Yeah, thank you for Mr. Adi Nugroho for thanks no, to. No. Okay. Uh, maybe I want to. Uh, I want to. Uh, uh, I want to say that uh, we are sorry for your country. I hope uh, you and the university and all of Ukraine uh, will be uh, in peace uh, as soon as possible. So there will be no war again. The war will be uh, finished as as fast as possible. Uh, I, ho I hope uh, you and your colleagues will be uh, in health and uh, will be uh, health and will be uh, start. Uh, everything will start normally soon. Well, okay. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, okay. Is it, uh, is there any word? Are you in the Dnipro or? Are you uh, on the no, refugee no, area? No, no, no. Just now, no, just now, I am located not uh, in Dnipro city. Yeah. I am in another city because very dangerous stay in Dnipro. Ah. Uh, every day we uh, we have some attacks from the Russia soldiers and it's what is very dangerous stay in city i am in, in another city just now in western part of ukraine oh are you still in ukraine yes yes uh, are you still in ukraine okay yes. <laughs> okay uh, but, okay. but, but yeah. maybe but maybe uh, in some in some nearest future it yeah. needs uh, go out from Ukraine, maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, maybe I will uh, will go to some uh, additional to 5.5 .5 million uh, people who live in Ukraine just now, <laughs> and then to another countries in Poland, Hungary, yeah. uh, Germany, Germany and Slovak. Czech Republic and so on. 
It's mm. it's very difficult situation just now. Yeah. But but I hope I hope uh, uh, maybe in some in some weeks maybe some months it will be better. I don't know exactly. Okay, okay. wish you the best uh, for your country. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, uh, Ms. Novita. Yes. Thank you, thank you for your attention. I'd like I I very I very enjoy to communicate with everybody. So it was very very good for me to communicate communicate and uh, generate some interest and interesting to some space problems and some uh, automatic control system design problems. This is very interesting area and uh, uh, I'd like I'd like to communicate with everybody who will uh, interested in it. Okay. Thank, okay, you. thank you. Professor Alexander, I hope we can meet again in other even in the future. Thank you so much for Professor Alexander. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, sir.